finally getting around to making a video about treating mites with oxalic acid. Let's get started. Okay folks, let's see if I can do this in a minute. This is an Instavac. We're going to demonstrate how to use it today. Okay, now we got a entrance reducer. It's going to have to be removed. So, there's my hive tool to do that with. I'm going to need a jacket and gloves to... Okay, we're not going to do this. I don't have time for this. Have you ever tried to treat your bees with oxalic acid with one of these? It's a bit of a pain if you have more than one or two hives. It's great for one hive, but if you've got two hives, or three hives, or five hives, or ten hives, pretty soon you're going to run into the shortage of wire to get to your beehives. And that's a bit of a problem. So, let's just put that aside for now. I've got a new tool. You're going to need this tool here. It's portable. It takes a battery. And this one happens to be a DeWalt battery, but you can get a Milwaukee battery. It's a great tool to use with your oxalic acid. So, we're going to talk about that later. And I'll show you how it hooked up. You'll need some smoker fuel. And you'll need a smoker. You need your gloves. You need some goggles. You need your gas mask. You might need a bee brush. You might need to remove an entrance. So then you need a hive tool. You'll probably need some oxalic acid, some rags some wet rags, a little bit of water to block off the entrance. And some water to clean out your tool. Perhaps a little oil to go on this little O-ring here that fits in here. Makes it easier to get in and out. And don't forget your need to have protection of all kinds and if you've ever tried to use this thing you might have to carry a battery out around if you got more than one or two hives when I had 30 hives I had to use two jumper cables just to reach my battery and that's why I got this Instavac make it a lot easier I can just plug a battery into it and go to work and you can do about 30 hives that way I have two batteries in case one goes dead, but I haven't had that happen yet. You'll probably need a battery to go in your Instavac. It just sits right on there. I don't want to do it now because I don't want to heat it up yet. Let's talk about oxalic acid. It's a treatment to kill the mites to get on honeybees. Like killing a mite on a bee, it's like a bug on a bug. Destroy the bug without destroying your bee. This is a double deep hive, and it would have bees in it. I heard a, a hummingbird just now. And those bees may have mites on them, and probably do. And it's a good idea to check to see because mites are pretty prevalent and they do destroy a lot of beehives, bee colonies. By the way, a beehive is a box, colony is the bees inside. It usually consists of a queen and thousands of bees. They will fill this box with nectar and honey and brood. Usually the brood's on the bottom and the nectar and honey's on the top. Not always the case. Sometimes we have to make adjustments. Now I'm hearing those crows. They're flying around there somewhere. So I'll just set that aside for now. So one method, the old method that we used, it works pretty well, but there's a new one coming out. But the old method is this. As you can see, we have some wires here and some little clip-on clamps to hook up to a battery. The problem with this is that you're always running the wires. You can see I'm having difficulty even unwrapping it. 
and it's limited in space so if your beehives if you got 30 or 40 beehives it's hard to get to all them what was done is this is a little heater here and you put oxalic acid powder in here and then you slide it inside the hive like this and you cover that up with a wet rag so that the air can't escape when you do an oxalic acid treatment you're going to need some eye protection and some breathing protection something made for the oxalic acid you can breathe this through this and you won't get it I wish I had more details on that but I don't so with a newer version this is the new Larobi's vaporizer I just got it and I haven't used it yet but I'm going to show you how it's done so the battery just goes on like that this is a 20 volt 5 amp hour battery from DeWalt you got this little applicator here that you can adjust that will go in here so what you do is you put you just push this down here and you fill that up with the uh, oxalic acid powder and you put it in here like that when you're ready to pie it you put it down in here like this and that will fit right in there and you just push the little plunger down once it's hot. There, we turn it on. So this will be going into the hive like this. And it would kill the mites that are on the bees. Generally you have to do this about five times, five days apart. So it takes a few minutes for it to dissipate and you're done. You can take it out. Good morning everybody. I've already heated up my Instavac. I've plugged the battery in and I've uh, got it up to 256 degrees. We're going to 430 before we can start this operation. We're going to treat these bees with oxalic acid this morning. As you can see it's burning off a little bit of the last time I didn't get completely cleaned out or I had a little water left in it so I uh, think uh, maybe I should put my gas mask on. Let me go do that. Now it's going to be a little muffled for sure because I've had this thing on. But I drove some holes in the back of these hives last fall, but they've been purpleized, so I'm not going to be able to go that route. Uh, you have to do that right before you're going to do it, or else it'll be to stop it up. So, you're up to 383 degrees. Uh, let me get my goggles on. For 400 degrees. Put my hood on. So we got our protection. We don't want to be stung. I do. Here's my gloves. So let me get them. I don't know what this is going to sound like. A little bit muffled, I guess. I'll try to make it louder. One more thing we're going to need is a rag to stop up this entrance there so the bees won't come out. And I'm putting this oxalic acid in. We're almost ready. We're up to 438 degrees. 439. I think we're good. So I'll get my wet rag. I'm out here early because I want all the bees in here so we can treat them all. 
They're not out flying yet. So let's just cover them up and close that entrance. All except for where my treatment, my instant is going to go. I've got my oxalic acid here. I've already measured this to 4 grams. Just stick it in there like that. And stick that in there. As you can see, it's already started to go because there was some on the outside. And that just lifts right in there. You push the button down. That's how I'll put it. We'll be done in a minute. That doesn't make them happy. That's why I bring my smoker. I should puff that up a little bit while I'm at it. But if I have two or anything, I'll lose one of them. And I've already lost one of my tools. And I've already lost one of my hive tools. So we're just about done here. But just to be ready, I want to get this other one started before I take that out and make the finish up completely. So, first thing I've got to do is remove that infant producer. So I'll give them a little smoke. So I'll move out of the way. So all I gotta do now is put the lag here, stop up most of it. The bees can't come out. This one's done. So I can take that off. Zap in some more oxalic acid. And stick it back in here. As you can see, it does. You don't try to do it. If you don't have a mask, then you're going to get it. So we push it in. Now we'll take this rag off over here. And, uh, yeah, I think we need to put an entrance producer in there because we are in birth. So I'm going to put one in there to slow things down in case there's some robbing goes on. Well, I'd prefer to put this up opening on this side, but it's not going to fit. I'm going to leave that just like that. Yeah, I think I'll do it that anyway. I'm going to put it back this way. Now, if I need to do it again, which I will be doing in another week or so, I'll treat it with oxalic acid again, and I won't have to take that out so hard. But they'll have a place to come in and out. This is what I used to use. You put your oxalic acid in here and then slide it in the entrance and plug it in, turn it on, hook up the battery. And the problem with this is I've got highs up there so I had to use two jumper cables just to reach it. And sometimes that's a bit of a mess. So this is a much better deal. Okay, this is not exactly the best video ever explain how to use this, but I hope I've explained most of the problems that you might have. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If this has any value to you, please do subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps me make more videos because it gets me more motivated. Whew. It's hot and humid this morning. I'm glad I'm getting it done early in the morning. <laughs>